<laughs> Someone stepped on the squeaky toy. Well, one's in the tunnel, Mr. Wiener. He flies out. Pandemonium. And these are the moments that sustain me. Baby, what are you doing in the tube? I'm gonna get you rocking back and forth. Oh boy. Look at you, baby. You're at the amusement park. Happy Yoon's Day, everyone. Tonight's Barbie night. The other night, I was playing around with one of the raccoons named Mr. Wiener with this Barbie. And I had put a cookie up her dress and he carried her to the bird bath and he was naughty and i thought oh my goodness this is so much fun i want to see a little bit more of this adult humor so there's multiple barbies hidden all over the place and this is a new contraption this is a tube i've got hanging we want the yoons to crawl inside and i want to kind of rock them back and forth we got the swimming pool back barbie in the center She's got some cookies hidden in her purse. And we have Heather here already. She's eating some Fruit Loops and some cat food. So let's sit back and uh, enjoy the show. You know, if I were to make a game out of this tonight, I guess it would be any Barbie that remains unscathed is the winner. So will the blondes or the brunettes win the night with these wild beasts? Okay, across the yard over here looks like Cleopatra and her babies, and her babies are getting so big. And these guys really like me, which is awesome because next year I kind of need another group of raccoons that let me pet them and play rough with them. Like, um, oh boy, here we go. One is in the tube. You are the future of Oons Day. Hi, Cleopatra. This is Nervous Nellie and her baby over here, playing with the rubber duckies. We have a little baby storming the uh, Barbie mansion. Well, that guy's got the tire around his arm. So those tires are uh, dog toys actually, and you can kind of hide treats inside of there. And I love finding uh, dog toys that are made for enrichment because they work just as well for raccoons and anyone who feeds raccoons and I'm not encouraging it but if you're already doing it why not uh, let them use their brains while they're at it baby likes the fruit loops so uh, each Barbie is hiding a cookie and I'll let you guess how they're hiding the cookie And I should say these aren't legit Barbies, they're, they're dollar store knockoffs. So I'm in my upper 40s and I'm uh, playing with dolls and wild raccoons. Who saw that coming? Over there's a, uh, a dog toy possum. That's got a little squeaker on it. You know, you see a lot of strange things here on uh, the Oonsday set. But probably the strangest of all is this. That's right, someone married me. That is an odd sight. Are you babies having a good time? Okay, we have a, another mother showed up with her babies. You know, I've seen that one for a long time and I've never given it a name. And I don't have one in mind right now. Maybe you guys want to help me out. There's so many to keep track of. 
it's usually the ones with real peculiar traits and their facial features or body features helps me out or their personality you can just tell by their gait the way they approach me I know who they are right away but I can't know every single one of them that's very tough and the babies they just don't have enough to distinguish them at the moment some of their personalities I'm already seeing are a little different uh oh here comes cutie hi cutie baby how you doing sweetheart thank you for the kiss here look Cutie is uh, the daughter of Moira. Now, I consider Moira to be the godmother of uh, the entire group. Where last year she was kind of the boss. She pushed everyone around, and I think that's because she had five babies. This year she's very mellow. Uh-oh. So it looks like a Barbie took a fall. She was real mellow this year so far. Um... I think her status has changed in the group because she has no babies. She's just uh, turning into the, the gentle grandma. And she's not showing up as often. Last year she was here pretty much every day. And she was always the first one here every day. Not this year. So things change from year to year in uh, the raccoon world. Another Barbie took a hit, and that baby is, is playing with dolls. Uh-oh. Someone's going to go in the tube. Cutie, go in there. Go in there, cutie. Look at you. You're having fun in the jungle gym. I'm going to push you in the butt. What are you doing to Barbie? <laughs> You're getting so heavy you push that thing all the way to the ground. Oh, that makes me laugh. Uh, Barbie took a tumble. You know, I'm yakking so much, all the Barbies are, are taking a hit. We have two brunettes left standing in their original positions and one blonde. So it uh, looks like the brunettes are winning the game. Okay, this looks like Excitable Bill. Hi Bill, you want to play with Barbie? Oh, someone's in the tube. <laughs> uh, this is pretty funny. This is my first time using this. <laughs> I bought this originally to uh, try and construct some raccoon habitat with those nine acres that got cleared by me. And I thought before I tinker with that, let's see how it works as an Oonsday prop. And we got some success with it already. Cutie's been in there, a baby's been in there. Um, perhaps I should have uh, suspended it a little bit higher up. But for a first go, get them used to it. So the naughty boy, Mr. Wiener, has not showed up yet. He, uh, he enjoyed playing with Barbie just a little too much. I think that's his age. He's curious. So my older sister growing up had dolls. My other sister didn't like dolls at all. She was a tomboy. So the oldest sister had the ones with those creepy eyelids that would go up and down. And she had them kind of displayed. And if you move through the room, the eyes would just follow you. And ever since then, I pretty much hated dolls. They were creepy. Excitable Bill. You can get that cookie. You can do it. Focus. Mm -hmm. 
So that's one of those cat toys with the ball that goes round and round. I have the cookies in the middle and uh, Barbie's hiding them someplace. I don't know why Cutie ran up the tree before. She's a, a one-year-old. She has no babies. She's uh, going to town on Barbie. She's the cookie master. She got the, uh, the hidden cookie from Barbie. And she's uh, submissive to, the, to Cleopatra and to Excitable Bill and to um, Nervous Nelly. They're all mothers. And this one too. And every time Mr. Wiener shows up, that's quite a gamble because the males usually don't come around when there's all these moms and the babies. So lately when he shows up, it's been on the earlier side and it's for a short spell and he's gone. He just gets a quick bite and he's out of here. He doesn't want to get it from uh, any of the moms. Well, someone pulled out the chipmunk. There's too much to pay attention to. Hi, baby. You guys had so fun the other day in the swimming pool. You were so hyper and you liked the ice cubes. Oh. Cleopatra's finally getting her feet wet. You know, I think I need to toss a couple more peanuts in there. Hi there. So that little baby over there, I've noticed it quite a few nights now. He loves to growl at everyone. And he's such a tiny little beast. I'm, if he keeps that up, I'm going to call him Little Napoleon. He's doing that compensation thing. Let me get your booty. <laughs> I got your booty. That noise uh, startled them. But they come back real fast. You got an itchy nose? Ah. Baby, wow, you got some sass. You're saying, that's my swimming pool. Daddy, you even got that for me. So, another thing that happened last night is a red fox came running in. And Moira was here. Moira flew up the tree with some of the other babies. And she was doing this growl for the longest time. I had run out and I chased the, uh, the fox away right away. Oh, look at cutie. You are just a big chunker. I think next time I'm going to hang that a little bit higher. What's wrong, cutie pie? There you go, girl. There you go. Yeah, go through the tunnel system. I'm convinced all these guys dream about this all day long. I don't see why not. I've had cats and I've had dogs and I've watched them dream and they really get into it with their whimpers and their legs moving like they're chasing something or running away. Why wouldn't they? So unlike yesterday, no Barbie was so far today taken into the water and purposefully dunked. The one in that pool was already there in the tube in the beginning. And I wonder if that's because it was Mr. Wiener. And he's just a naughty boy. Those two are still working on the Barbie mansion over there. I know they haven't gotten all the goods. Uh-oh, we might see a Barbie come out soon. 
beauty is like in the tunnel system. I love how she lays down. Look at that. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. We might lose a brunette here. Someone scaled the roof of the Barbie mansion. I might have to name that one Hugh Hefner. Okay, cutie, we're going to play a game. I am going to toss this into the tube. I didn't throw it in there far enough. Next one I'll put in deeper. Then I'm going to get you rocking. Excitable Bill's not good at taking cookies. There's so many that are so gentle. I notice Excitable Bill and Circus Circus, they're just crazy. They'll grab your whole arm. She's too heavy to get rocking. I just love how uh, Cleopatra's babies have claimed this as their swimming pool. Bill, you didn't take the cookie so nice. There's one in there. Cutie in there. Go in the tube. Get that big booty in there. Get in there. Go on. Go on. <laughs> oh, she's having a good time. And so am I. Someone once asked who has more fun, the raccoons or me, and I think it's me. So, I have a little news alert. Recently I did the challenge with the bird houses and bird feeders and I had mentioned how one of the raccoons went up to the wren house and tinkered with it. Well this morning the wren house was on the ground and the wren house was empty. And I'm feeling a little bad about that. But it's kind of out of my control. Raccoons are going to be raccoons. but. I'm guessing the babies might have been big enough to be out on their own. I had seen them on the branches outside of the house with mom and they were taking turns feeding them. Um, so my fingers crossed that the babies are okay. Or that's what I'm telling myself. This Barbie might go pretty soon. So this one and those two are still in their original positions. That one barely. So we don't really have a declared winner and the surviving Barbie yet. All the rest have been uh, tinkered with. There's Hugh Hefner playing around with that brunette. Excitable Bill's about to tip Barbie out. Uh oh, someone playing with the cat toy? All right, so this one here I call skittish. That's uh, one of Moira's babies too. Friendly with me, but a little on the nervous side. I have pet skittish. She's not fond of it. 
Um, looks very similar to what Silly Boy looked like and has a lot of uh, uh, Mr. Wiener's looks too. Moira's kids all look very similar. And I think Skittish needs a cookie. <laughs> there you go, Skittish. So, had those personality traits as a little one already. Circus Circus. Circus Circus loves cookies. Who do we got here? Oh, that might be Mr. Wiener. Mr. Wiener. Mr. Wiener. You gotta get you used to the tunnel. Hey. We're doing this Barbie game all because of you. Everyone saw what you did to her. Are you gonna do it again? Uh-oh. We got a blonde down. We got a blonde down. In fact, I only see one Barbie standing. The brunette Barbie is the winner in the yellow dress. All the rest have taken a fall. What are you doing? So Skittish's classic move is, if you put a cookie down, she will just pin her eyes on you and slow motion move her hand and grab it, like the thief she is. Not as big as a crowd as the other night. I'll do a little count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I see 19, 20 down the way, one standing on my water pail. Oh, I see another one even. What do you want, Mr. Wiener? Good job. Hi, Circus Circus. You're a good mama, you get a cookie. Tempted to push this boy right in. Oh, you're a silly boy. Go on in there. Go on, don't be shy. You're probably familiar with these tunnels. You go in the the drainage pipes all the time. You're you're an urban raccoon. You're different than the wild ones. Okay, lots of fun still going on here, but we do have a winner for tonight's challenge. It is the brunette Barbie. Yeah. Right there. Does that mean brunettes are smarter than blondes? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the brunette Barbie won. She's the last one standing. Until Mr. Wiener gets his hands on her, you dirty beast. <laughs> I have too much fun.